So if I'm going to play Final Fantasy VIII, probably going to play the remaster, right? Let me see what the features are of the remaster. Battle assist options, HP, ATB gauge, limit break boost, okay? Game speed boost, no random encounters, thank God. Obtain all items and abilities. I'd probably only really be interested in these two, like being able to speed the game up and no random encounters. I think that's probably be the only two. Okay, so, uh, all right, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Let me go ahead and pull up the trailer and uh, we can react to it. I remember when they announced this, I lost my fucking mind. I never thought we'd get a remaster of this game of course like the dream for eight is to get a remake but i never even thought we'd get a remaster you know forever square was saying what was that rumor that they had lost like the original code they had lost the original like the original files for the game and that's why they couldn't do a remaster or a remake or anything like that this was the first final fantasy game that i ever played outside of the original final fantasy on nintendo like outside of being a five-year-old and playing Final Fantasy one on the NES and having no idea what I was doing. This was the first one I ever tried. I skipped seven because seven was like so big and I was only playing video games at that time that I could rent from Blockbuster. There's no way I can beat Final Fantasy seven in a weekend. You know, you had like three days with it. But when eight came out, by the time eight came out, everybody was talking about Final Fantasy so much. I rented this game and I played it. And even though I didn't really understand it that well, I wasn't that good at it. I still loved it, man. And I still have so much nostalgia for this game. But I've also grown up hearing people talk shit about it my whole life, about how much 8 sucked. So I hope that I like this game. I'm really, really hoping that when I play 8, I'll feel the way I felt when I was a kid, that I'll, I'll love it. But I'm worried that when I play 8, I'll hate it. I'm worried that I'll despise it and that I'll think it's trash. Um, but we'll see. Oh my god, when that hits, I'll never forget the intro. And what sucks is the intro for Final Fantasy VIII is probably the most hype intro of any Final Fantasy game. And it just goes downhill from there is all I've heard from people my whole life. Is that after, after that amazing intro, the game just gets worse and worse and worse until it's over. And it never picks back up. It just descends into garbage throughout the, throughout the like 40 or 50 or however many hours. That sucks, man. I, I hope that I don't agree with that. I hope. God, it's crazy seeing Squall, like, without the blurry face. The cowboy's a little bit out of place, is he not? Like, I kind of feel like, like, where does he come from? You know what I mean? I don't really remember this guy. Mm. Bro, that music? Bro, that music gives me so hype, bro. I love the soundtrack for 8. Bro, this, this showdown right here in the intro, legendary. Legendary. I still don't know. Like, I still don't know who this is. I still don't know who this character is. <laughs> I don't remember. She looks like she's the antagonist, like she's the evil character. I still don't know. Okay, is it Cipher or Cipher? I still wonder if he ends up ultimately being a bad guy, a good guy, or just like a, a tragic villain. Like, I'm not really, I'm kind of interested to see what they do with this guy right here. But yeah, the remaster looks good, man. Like, they, they look great. Apparently, you don't have to grind too hard in this one. If I remember correctly, with 8, if you uh, if you grind too much, it actually works against you. In 8, and this was the most controversial thing, right? Is that in 8, in order to, like, get, get more powerful, you had to draw magic from enemies. And then instead of using the magic like you would want to use, you would hoard the magic. And it would give you, like, passive buffs to stats. And that's how you would accumulate power, right? I can understand 
how that would work in theory but i feel like maybe they underestimated like players um tendency to want to hoard power because I i'm guessing that what they assumed is that players would draw like i don't know like 60 or 7 of fire but then they would use it and then they would keep like 40 50 60 of it drawn or whatever but everyone i knew when i was younger would just draw it all the way to 99 or whatever the max was and just keep it there and, and that just like it, it kind of like nerfed the game it nerfed the game because you weren't really using magic and on top of it you were grinding to do all of these draws and then on top of it you were grinding in a game where grinding hurts you so you're you're grinding in a game after they you know got rid of the grinding grinding in a game where enemies scale with you which is miserable and then you're basically not using your magic which that's not fun and then drawing magic sucks and is boring and that's all you're doing it's just like it's just like a trifecta of like dog shit that i think really um kind of broke the experience for a lot of players is the understanding that i have but my question is okay all right draw system aside what about these characters in this story are these characters as interesting and fun like what about renoa and squall and their their little it i mean it seems like a love story how good of a protagonist is squall and what's their relationship like him and renoa i just want to know how good the story is i just want to know how well written the characters are because if, if they're able to write these characters well and they're able to tell a good story with these characters I think I'll be okay to deal. I think I'll be all right with the game systems. I think I'll be all right with that. There's also a theory that I want to get into probably after I finish the game. There is a, a theory on the internet that I've heard before that Squall is dead in this game. That Squall actually dies early in the game and the rest of the game is some Jacob's Ladder type shit happening in his mind as he's dying or something. So that's a popular rumor that I've heard in the Final Fantasy community and on YouTube. And I don't know anything about it. I've never watched the video on it. There is a YouTube video that like goes through all the details of it, but I've never been able to watch that video because I always knew one day I'd wanna play this game. So I'm going to play this game. I'm not going to watch that video, but after I play the game, I am going to watch that video and then see if, you know, if I think there's any validity to it. I think that would be really fun. We're going to finish Final Fantasy 16 this week, and uh, I think we're going to start Final Fantasy 8 probably next week. This is also probably going to be the last game that I stream on YouTube just because of DMCA and copyright issues on YouTube. So, uh, you know, to kind of, to kind of start this journey this year with Final Fantasy VII, started this huge seven month long journey. I've been playing through Final Fantasy games all this year and to finally wrap that up with Final Fantasy VIII, to bring that journey to an end with Final Fantasy VIII before we like venture out into other games that probably starting with uh, Black Myth Wukong. I'm, I'm excited. I'm really, really excited for this. And I hope that uh, I hope it lives up to the nostalgia and like the kind of like personal hype and emotion that I have towards the game. So uh, I think after Final Fantasy VIII, I'll be focused on like major gaming releases that I'm interested in. And then in between those, uh, you know, trying to play games that, you know, I, I've missed. Like, after Black Myth Wukong, I'm not aware of anything really huge that I want to play day one. So, like, after that, maybe come back for Final Fantasy 12 or 15, or, you know, maybe come back for uh, Cyberpunk, or even Demon Souls, or Legend of Dragoon, or Like a Dragon. Like, there's so many games that I want to play. Persona, of course. I still want to play Persona 5 Royal. I've got it sitting right over here to my right, the Phantom Thieves edition. Metaphor Refantasio? Tazio? Metaphor Refantasio, right? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely interested in that. There's a lot of stuff. I, I'd, I'd like to go back and play. Um, what was the other one? It looked like an action RPG, an action JRPG that came out on the Switch a couple of years ago, and it looked like sick. Something, was it Chained Atlas or... Astral Chain, Astral Chain, Astral, not Atlas, Astral, Astral Chain, yes, fuck, of, co of course everybody put it in the chat as soon as I fucking looked away, yeah, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, that's, I, I hate myself, and I mean 
hate myself for missing that game and not playing that game. Hate. I do want to be a part of the conversation when people are talking about like what's happening in currently in the gaming world. And so in order for me to be a part of that conversation, I do think I have to incorporate more like current games, you know? I don't think that you can just by playing games retain a large audience. I think in order to retain a large audience, you need to be cycling in and out things that are like really, really relevant. There's a lot of things that I want to do and a lot of changes that I want to make. And that's one of the reasons why I haven't been able to stream as much as I want to, because I've been doing a lot behind the scenes to kind of brace for some of the changes that I'm going to make, in, you know, in my streaming career here in the second half of 2024. But anyway, um, these there's, there's just a lot of games that I want to get to and a lot of games that I want to play. But uh, I'm really excited to play Final Fantasy VIII, man. This was where my Final Fantasy journey started. Like I said, I played the original Final Fantasy on NES when I was a little kid, like five or six years old. Had no idea what I was doing. Couldn't figure it out. Just, you know, put it down. This was the first one I ever played, like, as a gamer. And uh, I've got a lot of love for my memories, even though I think the, the farthest I probably got in this game was maybe, like, 15 hours, something like that. Don't remember any of it outside of maybe the first hour. I got a lot of love for this game, and... And I really hope that I'm able to enjoy this playthrough and uh, I hope I'm able to walk away with a, with a positive impression of it. I've heard some people tell me that I should uh, look into mods for this. I don't know if I will or not. I, I mean, maybe I'll look at some mods, but I don't know if I really want to mod my, you know, my first playthrough of the game. If there are some mods that don't radically change the experience, but maybe, you know, make it a little bit more palatable or, or whatever, uh, make it a little bit more accessible or a little bit more fun without changing the core experience. Maybe I'll be open to that. You guys can let me know what you think, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. After Final Fantasy VIII, we'll be, going, we'll be doing Black Myth Wukong, and then after that, who knows, you know?